Foodie's back with another mukbang, and this time it's a full day of eating. In this video, let's take a look and see what she got, look up the macros, and discuss them. Alright, so for my first meal, I'm having KFC, spicy fried chicken, three pieces, coleslaw, jalapeno fries with all the jalapenos, <laughs> and diet soda. Jesus Christ. And a wet nap, which I won't eat, so. Like one in the morning. What I love about Foodie Beauty is she'll claim that she's trying to be on a diet, but she never really goes on that diet. She just says a whole bunch of hogwash or a whole bunch of hubba baloo. Damn, she looks really big here, dude. Uh, sometimes she'll wear like the hijab to cover up the back fat behind her face and it works surprisingly well. And for a long time, I didn't even know that she was using a filter. I guess I just never really looked at her, but um, recently she has been using another camera that she can't put a filter on and dude I almost can't even believe like the difference and the quality and the texture of her face compared to when she uses a filter it's it's so surprising how like you don't even register the filter sometimes until you see what it looks like without the filter um, it's probably due to the fact that foodie beauty's entire diet is summed up with just one or two words big and uh, disgusting all those things so I love that foodie beauty also this can of Pepsi by the way looks very aesthetic I do love the black can you know one up for that one up for the you know black lives matter and all this other stuff but foodie beauty if you guys don't know we cover foodie beauty almost every night here on the channel or at least uh you know whenever something pops off foodie beauty is historically boring and she really doesn't have anything going on in her life besides the fact that her husband takes her out every once in a while to the middle of the desert and they celebrate their anniversary by pooping in the floor or i guess eating food they could have ate at their house but they did it in the middle of the desert i don't really understand it personally but it's really cool that they do that. Uh, but I do know that Foodie Beauty lies consistently about her diet, given the fact that her husband says as much. Um, Salah, her husband, will always be like, nah, you ate some more shit, didn't you? Like, you remember that food that we had ordered just before this? You remember those donuts you was just body slamming? You remember that food that you said you didn't eat, but then you did eat? Yeah, yeah, you've been eating that shit. You've been doing that shit quite a bit. You've been eating my food, actually. You've been eating all my food. And it's got to be real terrible. Uh, I don't even know why. Salah and Foodie Beauty are even in a relationship. Um, they don't even seem like they like each other at all. It might just be because they're in the Middle East and they can't really display affection. So that might be what it is. I also want to thank the content creator that made this particular content, Foodie Beauty, and Sansa Cooks. Um, a very good YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I think I'll have their 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 YouTube channel linked down below. Very good YouTube. Uh, the fact that they're like you know deducing how many calories this person is eating and all this other stuff. It's really amazing. So we're gonna watch that today. I have Hardee's. It's not a big meal. Oh yeah? You gonna say that's just not a big meal when that's just literally the size of your head? What you talking about? What is not big about that? It's very small. That's how I know you're so out of touch, bro. It, it, because it's not big, what? Is it like two or three different servings? How many family meals you need to satisfy your lips at this point, dude? The fact that a regular meal at a burger joint ain't good enough for you anymore really tells me everything I need to know. You want some, you, you want some different shit. You might as well just start eating the bag too. Yeah, burger and fries, it's an average meal. What else do you want here, dude? What do you want, two more burgers? Big as fuck. What can I do? So I got the original burger. I know she eats something on the side too, bro. You know she is, dude. She gotta be body slamming some extra shit. Burger, whatever you wanna call it. Calories. Oh, damn, 540 just for the burger. That seems about right, though. That seems about right for the cheeseburger. 540. <laughs> okay, it's actually anorexic. That burger don't look good at all, dude. Why the fuck would you even get that? That that looks terrible, man. You might as well. You know what you should have done? Just gone to Mickey D's and just got a quarter pounder and tell them to make it look pretty. Like, literally, just go up there and be like, hey, yo, when you make my QP, can you make it look good? Can you make it look delicious? They'll do it. They'll, they'll make it good. They'll make it. So usually they don't have anybody asking because like nobody gives a fuck. It's Mickey D's. But if you go up and ask like, hey, can you make that shit a little bit tasty? Can you make that shit look a little bit good? They'll put a little bit of love and care. There might be a, a barrier uh, in the language, depending on which one you go to, because um, I've never been to a Mickey D's that didn't have Puerto Rican dudes working behind the counter. I don't know why that is. I've never seen a white dude working at McDonald's. I've never seen that. But uh, you might have to like navigate that a little bit. Maybe go on uh, Google Translate and tell that shit. Like, hey, listen, bro, tell that, you know, tell this uh, Indonesia woman about my good shit. Put, go ahead and put extra lettuce on that. Make sure the meat is good. Um, 
cheese, ketchup, okay, maybe lettuce, not. tomato, Ugh. pickles. Licking your fingers, dude, stuff. before you even... Licking the fingers before you even took the burger in your mouth is kind of crazy, bro. How? Why do you need to satisfy your lips to this degree? Oh, one thing also I don't like about Foodie Beauty is that she's a pussy. Uh, I see her consistently always being called out by different people, different reaction channels. Sometimes these reaction channels be going a little bit too far. I got to keep it a buck with you. I see too many people just sitting there talking all this shit, um, talking about her family, talking about her face, talking about the, how busted they are. And, you know, I'll be looking at these reaction channels like, why don't you guys ever have your cameras on? Why don't you guys ever be talking uh, when your cameras is on? Uh, is it because you yourself is also busted? How many teeth are you missing? Right? What, how many skin flakes you got falling on your table when you making that video, right? A lot of these people that be making these reaction channels be looking like pure bags of potatoes, man. It's tough too, man. You can't just be talking shit about somebody's physical appearance and you're not willing to show yourself off. That's crazy as hell. But uh, they be going a little bit far sometimes and I love the drama though. Ooh, I love the drama. You know what it is, man. A tea go hot sometimes with Foodie Beauty when, uh, when the reaction channels. And I would really love if Foodie Beauty would just get down in the mud more often and talk shit more often, dude. Uh, she recently did a whole video talking shit about other people, dude. And that shit was so good in my mouth. I just love the way she talks shit. The way she be saying shit sometimes just have me laughing, dude. She said in this other video, she was like, oh, FFG, your face, start, your face card declined 10 years ago. That shit was hard, bro. I never, I've never heard that shit before in my life, dude. That shit's crazy, bro. <sighs> and... A small fry? Why small? That's not small, that's about average. Another fast food mukbang. That's sad as fuck. So I can be criticized for- Didn't she have like super diabetes literally like a month ago too? Like wasn't her blood sugar over like five or six times more than what it should have been? And she over here talking about some- uh, it's small. It's not what I need. Like, it's not going to really fulfill my lust. It's not going to really give me the urges I need. Like, it's not going to satiate me. I need more. I need more deliciousness. You would think, like, you have nothing else going on in your day. You don't play Fortnite. You and your husband don't be, you know. I know you guys don't do shit. I know you guys don't. Uh, you guys have a whole couple's channel, and I never see you uploading on that shit ever. And when you do upload on it, it's always so cringy because your husband is always trying to make himself the center of attention. I get it. Your husband look good. He got them curves. He's thick as hell. But we got to chill back. I mean, it's a couple's channel. Why the fuck is it all about him? I'm sick of seeing him just on it, just showing off his love handles, bro. Chill back, Salah. We know you look good, dude, but it ain't all about you. But yeah, you guys don't hang out. You guys don't like do shit. You guys don't like watch movies. Um, you would think the couple's channel would be easy to upload on. Just make a video of you guys cooking food, eating food together, talking to each other. That's all we really ask for. You don't have to go out all the time. It's fine, but you guys do nothing. So I don't know, whatever. Um, How come you never eat with your husband? Uh, listen, even though he's kind of weird and he, he he has like a miscommunication, he doesn't really have like the social cues. A lot of the English language is is did, like a lot of how we communicate in English speaking countries is how you say words, right? And the structure of a sentence. And uh, Salad doesn't really pick up on that because it's, it's very difficult when you hear him talk because he says it in a very direct way. And you're just like, oh, 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 I kind of understand what you're saying, right? So it's a little bit weird, but... I would I'd be okay with it if you was eating and then he came in and he was like, hey, babe, want to eat food with me? I love you. You look so good. Here, let me play piano while you eat. I would like that. I don't have a problem with that. Maybe that would be cool. I mean, he's your husband after all, right? No? Maybe you don't fuck with him like that? I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever. Large, overly sized reaction channels. Bismillah. Beauty bite. Yeah, she, she forever on the reaction channels, bro. They be talking shit forever, dude. And one thing, you know, look. I know that technically I'm reacting to her content, whatever. I have no quarrel with Foodie Beauty. I think she's a little bit dumb. I think she says a whole bunch of, she has a whole bunch of takes sometimes that just don't make any sense at all. And sometimes she likes to butt her head into things that she has absolutely no, no idea about. Like the other night I was watching a live stream on her. I don't usually do that, but you know, we were watching it and she has said some dumb shit. She was talking about, oh, uh, I think it's crazy that people can drop 40, $50,000 on a bag and there are people out here starving to death in other countries and shit like that. Like, you're being irresponsible with your money. And I'm watching her literally swallow down Carl's Jr. and uh, a Mickey D's bag, bro. I'm over here looking like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you saying right now? You're literally that. You're literally that, except without bags, you're getting biggie bags. You're getting them big-ass fucking bags from Mickey D's, bro. Them, or, them Uber Eats bags. What are you talking about? You're the same person. 
And then somebody called her out on it. They were like, what are you talking about? You're literally doing that too. Don't you spend your money how you want to? And she was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Nah, people should spend their money how they want to, this and that. And then like five minutes later, she was like, but I just think that people shouldn't be spending their money like that. Like, that's crazy. It's like, this woman's dumb. Like, she's just stupid, though. Like, sometimes she just says shit. And I don't think she fully registers it. Um, and she has nobody in her corner that will correct this thought patterns. Because you should. You should have people in your corner that like, f you know, really, really call you out on your cognitive dissonance. If you say something that's incorrect, I hope you have somebody that goes, huh. Hold up now. That shit is dumb. What you just said right there, the fact that your mouth was able to have that spill out is actually insane. You got to correct that instantly because that shit is dumb. You're on the internet too. You're, you're, you're making videos consistently like this. People are going to be watching this and they're going to be going, is this person, is this personally mentally de deficient? Is there something going on here? Is this person huffing that galaxy gas? That's what, that's what I would be asking. I mean, I do ask that consistently. I know she isn't huffing that galaxy gas. She's huffing other stuff, but and not her husband though. Who are my size or slightly smaller? I just really hate to, if you're doing a mukbang, just do the mukbang. I don't want to hear you talk. There's no point of you talking because all I ever hear in terms of her talking is, so they were, and they did the, that's all it is for the entire video, bro. It, 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 it just, shush, 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 be quiet. You don't need to talk while you're doing this shit. You're good. Just do one or the other. One or the other. Listen, I'm 5'6", and I wear a US 18 or 20. That's kind of big. That's kind of big. 5'6"? 5'6", 18 to 20? Damn. Um, yeah, that's big. That's big. I got to keep it a buck. That's bowling ball shit right there. Ah, damn. That's tough. That's tough, man. Um... That's tough. That's that's big. That's real big. That's big as hell. That's big. It's not about your size only. It's about that face card too, huh? I only mentioned that because clearly they're also eating food like this. Yeah. Nah, they got a fact, bro. Uh, a lot of these reaction channels talk a shit. You got to nut up or shut up, bro. If you're not willing to put yourself on display, what's the point of talking all that shit? You can't be talking... You can't just be sitting there going, you look busted, you look like a bag of Sasquatch, you look like somebody, you look like it, when you were a child, somebody put you, somebody put you in a garbage bag and just started beating you against a wall and then you recovered. Like, you can't be saying that shit and then also be looking like Sasquatch. You know what I'm saying? You can't say that. So there's a lot of hypocrisy online. I agree. And I just wish Foodie Beauty would call it out more, man. I wish she would talk to somebody too, bro. I wish she would get in a Discord call and just start talking shit. Just like, you fucking busted. You look like busted. You look like an iguana. Your skin is so bad. Do you even know what lotion is? Like, that would be so good, dude. Oh, my God, man. People come into Like, you got so much perspiration on your face. You got to put deodorant on that shit. Like, I would just... Oh, I would just love that, dude. Like, uh, if, somebody, if somebody had called somebody, like, a legless iguana, man, that would be good, man. What big people eat when they're big as well, you know? True. Talk that shit. That's my point. Okay, foodie, I'm going to have to stop you right here and make a comment. I get what you're saying, but in my opinion, I would rather have somebody who's similar to me or somewhat in the same boat commenting on what I'm eating, if I'm showing it online, than somebody who's super skinny and never eats this way. If anything, I think it's more realistic and helpful to learn how other people deal with fast food cravings or how they work out in order to eat the things that they want to eat. Think of it as sort of like you're saving money to go to a fancy dinner that you can't quite comfortably afford. I get it. I get it, Sansa. I do. I understand what you're saying, but hop off real quick. All right, bro. I get it. We all want to hate on foodie beauty, but at some point you need to just acknowledge the truth. Okay. If somebody is fat as fuck and they're in the same boat as foodie beauty, Okay, Foodie Beauty claims that she's 370, 350-ish. And if somebody else is also chilling around that same bracket, dude, and they over here talking about Foodie Beauty fat, she big as fuck, she be eating a lot, this and that. Bro, they're in the same boat. They eating the same shit. What you talking about, bro? So if you're sitting here talking about, oh, well, I would prefer if they did it. That's not even the point. The point is she talking all that shit and then she also doing the same thing that the other person is doing that they're talking shit about. Okay, Sansa. I mean, that's fine. I understand what you're saying, but it's a little bit... That's cringe. That was cringe. That was really, really cringe. What you even talk about right now? What? Just because they're not showing themselves off eating that food 
And by the way, they're not. They're not even showing themselves in, in general. Most of these reaction channels that are talking shit about Foodie Beauty don't even, don't even show themselves off. So they're not even showing themselves off, let alone talking about what they eat. So I, 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 what are you even talking about? At least Foodie Beauty has the balls to come on the internet, eat the fuck what she's going to eat, and talk that shit. But instead of money, you're saving calories. Yeah, but they're fat as fuck, though. Will I ever forever be able to quit fast food? I have no idea. You gotta have a real addiction problem to even be asking questions like that, dude. Does she have a, what is this right here? Probably just a bedazzle, huh? Just some fake shit, because I know you can't really get piercings over there in the Middle East. I could be wrong, but she's in Kuwait, by the way. At this point, I'm get so sick that. of diets and wipe that. the cycles. I just I, I'm sorry dude I just hate I just hate watching her eat because she has thoughts but the thoughts are not as important as the food going into her mouth so it just there's more munching than there is words coming out I'm, not, I'm sick of it all cool what food is referring to here is her ongoing cycle of behavior for what this the fuck calendar is this? year 2024 she's in cycle four so it's no wonder that she's tired of all of this. No way, bro. No way somebody did an XL sheet on this shit. You crazy as hell for that. Nah, you crazy, bro. Is this really her shit? Claimed a mobility after the... You kind of going a little bit far. You going a little bit far, bro. This is... Whoever made this shit, that's crazy, bro. You got to be real invested. That's cringe, bro. I got to keep it a buck. That's real cringe, man. Really coming out here with an XL sheet. You know how many people don't even know about XL? <laughs> what can I have? Maybe some noodles. I make yeah, really good noodles. Fat as fuck to ask us what, what, we, what we think you should want. Mm, yeah. I honestly don't like when Foodie Beauty be like, your face card declined, but she's literally sitting here with a filter and you can't even see a quarter of her face. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the bonus noodles. Bonus? <sighs> Damn, bonus. Bonus is kind of tough, man. That's just big. That's that's a big bonus right there. That's a that's a big bonus, bro. That's a lot. That's a lot of food right there. 390 calories for the ramen. <sighs> that's kind of big, foodie beauty. They're very good. Nah, she didn't have three packs. You're lying. She had three packs? So she had three. You're lying, bro. She ain't had three packs. You're fucking with me, dude. It ain't three packs in that shit. Nah, you lying, bro. What is that? 1200? Nah. Yes. They're just like indomie fried noodles. It's called fried noodles. So I add the sauce pack. Why are you out of breath from looking at the food? You, I mean, you're not doing shit. Would you just get up to cook them and come back? And those. And she looking like she literally just ran a quarter mile, bro. Then I add some tomato paste, a bit of boy chicken bouillon, a bit of soy sauce, a bit of cream. Damn. We really and getting water. down and dirty here. So good. Well, these are addictive. So I'm trying not to. I really have to try not to take a break from these. So hopefully this will. I be have to really try hard to not take a break from these. <laughs> my last ramen for a while. What, like three days? Whenever I say these things, I have the intention of actually doing it. Yeah, but like that doesn't mean anything. Just because you have the intention of doing something in the moment doesn't mean it actually is going to happen. So it doesn't really matter, right? I guess it's not a lie because lying requires intent, but whatever. And I don't follow. follow but you know what? It's, there's something interesting about this, though. Just because you say you have the intention of doing something doesn't mean in the back of your mind you're thinking about it. Like, I know I had the intention of doing this, but I'm probably not going to do that shit. Because I just fail at it. It's hard. Yeah. You know? Dude, stop twirling that shit. How much more can you get on a fucking plate? Jesus Christ, bro. That fork is literally apex right now, dude. That shit is over encumbered. You're fine. Eat what you got. We just got stirring it on the fucking the, the handle itself. I am sincere. And I I want to stop it, but oh I've my had god, dude! For she actually making me upset. Past couple days that yeah. yeah. You didn't even get anything more on there. When you add it all up, this full day of eating comes out to three thousand eight hundred and seven calories, two hundred and five grams of fat. Yeah. One thousand. Damn, that's that's big. Not as big, bro. That's big amount of cap, bro. The sodium on that is insane, dude. Damn. 11,000, bro? Woo! That blood gotta be running 
thick, bro. I bet when she fart, that shit has a mist to it. 643 milligrams of sodium, 356. She can't even get a good amount of protein. It's actually insane, dude. How the fuck you make it this whole day eating all you did and you only get 135? That's, that's it? Damn, man. That's, that's actually real low. 130, 137 grams of protein? Bro, throw some chicken breast in that shit, dude. Damn, man. You already blowing your, you already blown your diet out the fucking water. You might as well throw some chicken breast in there too or something, dude. Damn. Grams of carbs, 37 grams of which are sugar, and 138 grams of protein. A couple of things strike me as interesting about this. The whole thing is interesting, but go off. Number one, the sodium level is sky high. Yeah. No wonder Foodie feels bloated and lethargic throughout the day. Well, I mean, most of the shit she's getting is fast food, so that makes sense. You can make anything taste good if you got enough salt and sugar in there. Um, just eating like, I swear, bro, uh, if there was like horse foreskin and somebody deep fried that shit, put a correct amount of, put a correct amount of sugar, a little bit of salt on that shit, deep fried it, right? And gave it to you, you would open your mouth so wide, you would have that shit and glaze in your lip. Oh my God, that shit tastes so good. I can't believe the sensation. I'm feeling ecstasy in my mouth right now. And you never told them that that shit was horse foreskin. They would never know. They would be like, that shit was good as fuck. You got more? And number two, Gay. in everything that she ate, there were very few vegetables. Yeah, that's whatever. Like, that's the least of her worries, to be honest, bro. I'm, I'm more concerned about the protein. The fact that she made uh, 38, 3,800 calories, which is about double what she needs. Um, and she only got 137 grams of protein. That's actually crazy. I, can, I almost can't even believe that. That's such a low amount uh, in terms of what she was getting. It, it's actually crazy. I can't even believe that she got that low amount. In my opinion, if you want to splurge and have a fast food meal, say the KFC, then the best way to go about it is to eat well the rest of the day. Yeah, duh. <laughs> yeah. In my own personal experience, if I have a day where I get fast food, say we ordered out at work and I got Chipotle, then I would balance it out with a salad or something light for dinner. It's not that you can't ever have fast food or you can't ever have ramen noodles. You just have to be smart about it. And in yeah, but that's too that's too much work. I mean, why would I be smart about it when I can order a KFC, three piece cheese fries, Hardy's big burger, you know, a couple couple packets of uh, ramen, you know, get a couple, you know, ten pieces in there. Like, why would I why would I go and eat a salad or eat something light when I could just not do that? Foodie's case, if you have multiple comorbidities and you're under a doctor's care, then you should really listen to what they tell you to do or your nutritionist. You know, the one she hasn't gone to see yet. In this video, Foodie does a lot of talking about hypocrisy, about how larger people shouldn't talk about what larger people are eating. And I say, my size has nothing to do with it. If anything, you guys are watching because of my analytical mind and what I bring to the table as far as commentary. So is, are you big Sansa? Is that what you were saying? You, you was a size? 18 to 20 in the US. That's fine. It's okay for you to critique other people. It's okay. But it just understand that like people will come at you as well. You understand like you can't be like, you can't talk shit. Like you can't act racist. Like if I'm having a conversation with my friends, right? And my friends are hitting me with David. That's why you think the spiciest thing you can eat is ketchup. That's why you eat meatloaf. You're white. You don't even know what lotion is. Don't be upset. When I throw out some KFC and watermelon jokes. Don't be upset when I throw out the fact that you got no dad. Don't throw it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be upset when somebody is being racist and you be racist back, right? It is what it is, okay? You can't dish it out if you can't take it as well. So, that's all I'm going to say. You can go ahead and talk that shit. No problem. But just be prepared for people to come at you in the same direction. As far as I know, no other reaction channels actually made the Indomie to see how many forkfuls are in one package. Yeah, you kind of went a little bit overboard on that. Couldn't be me, but GG. That's how I know how many packets she ate, by the way. Now, one last thing I wanted to say about this summary is that we're not including any snacks she had, and we know she has plenty of ice cream and other snack foods in the house, and we also don't know how long her day lasted. So you, this is actually like, this is your full thing. Like, you actually put this together, huh? 
You put effort in. I'll give you that, bro. You really went into your Excel spreadsheet and you did that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, bro. Um, it's kind of a little bit far. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. As long as you're doing it for the right cause, I suppose. When you look at the summary as a whole, to me, it's just a lot of empty calories. Yep. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. But instant noodles are apparently one of the most unhealthiest foods you can eat. <laughs> Which is probably why I love them. Big back as fuck. No way you rolled your eyes back for some noodles, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I guess. I just wanted to show you. Kinda. Her stomach gotta be literally the size of, like, a cow, man. That shit's serious, bro. How the fuck did she throw that shit back like that? That's so much. So much food, bro. It's such a little package. What I would eat when I'm beezing. When I'm being kind of naughty with the food. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down. The last time I heard somebody say being naughty with the food, I'm seeing a couple corn cobs, bro. Choices at night. Um. What does your husband but I'm think? I'm gonna really try not to eat ramen. For what you mean I'm not gonna try to eat ramen as I just saw you body slam three packets? Like that shit was nothing. Like you literally put that shit in your mouth and you felt no remorse afterwards. And you're over here talking about some, yeah, I'm probably gonna chill back on it a little bit, you know? Like, I mean. That shit did taste good in my mouth, but you know, I'm gonna calm down a little bit. What you talking about? You literally body slammed all of it. For a while, because I had a lot lately, and... Today. Damn, that ring is literally being suffocated around that finger right now. I just love it too much, so... Anyways... Beautiful. Thanks for watching, everybody. Beautiful. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think down below about this particular type of content. If you like to see more of Foodie Beauty and things like that, I want to thank Sansa too, by the way. Her channel should be linked down in the description down below because they make good content. Might be a little bit hypocritical, but it's all right. You know, it's, it's good content regardless, dude. Um, maybe that was what she was saying earlier when she said that she was... How much did she say she was, bro? Let me check that shit out real quick. Hold up. I think she said that she was chilling around... For the record, I'm 5'6", and I wear a size 18 to 20. That's pretty big. I'm going to keep it a bug. That's kind of big. It's kind of a little bit big. <laughs> a little bit big. A little bit big. Uh, a little bit big. Anyway, um, you're beautiful, by the way. You smell really good. I uh, appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things. I appreciate tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing, typing in ketchup. I love ketchup. Ketchup is really good. You can throw it on shit just randomly and it will substitute the flavor of whatever you're eating. It's really good if you're going over somebody's house and you have no idea if this shit's going to taste good or not. Just have a little bit of ketchup on the side. Taste it. If it tastes good enough to not put ketchup on it, you're good. You can just eat it. Um, but if it doesn't, then you just dip that shit in the ketchup real quick. Just have that shit marinate a little bit in there. Kind of like how you're marinating every day, trying to ensure that you're getting enough liquid hydration, water in your body to ensure you're hydrated. That's really good. A lot of people are not hydrated. I'm happy that you're hydrated. I'm happy that you're drinking enough liquid to be hydrated consistently. You smell really good, by the way. I love your eyebrows. They look very delicioso. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 